Henry II, French, Henri II, the 31st of March 1519 to the 10th of July 1559, was king of France from the 31st of March 1547 until his death in 1559. The second son of Francis I, he became Dauphin of France upon the death of his elder brother Francis III, Duke of Brittany, in 1536. Henry was the tenth king from the House of Valois, the third from the Valois-Orléans branch, and the second from the Valois-Orléans-Angoulême branch. As a child, Henry and his elder brother spent over four years in captivity in Spain as hostages in exchange for their father. Henry pursued his father's policies in matter of arts, wars and religion. He persevered in the Italian wars against the House of Habsburg and tried to suppress the Protestant Reformation, even as the Huguenot numbers were increasing drastically in France during his reign. The Treaty of Coteau Cambrésis, 1559, which put an end to the Italian wars, had mixed results. France renounced its claims to territories in Italy, but gained certain other territories, including the Pale of Calais and the Three Bishoprics. France failed to change the balance of power in Europe, as Spain remained the sole dominant power, but it did benefit from the division of the holdings of its ruler, Charles V, and from the weakening of the Holy Roman Empire, which Charles also ruled. Henry suffered an untimely death in a jousting tournament held to celebrate the Peace of Coteau Cambrésis at the conclusion of the Eighth Italian War. The king's surgeon, Amboise Paré, was unable to cure the infected wound inflicted by Gabriel de Montgomery, the captain of his Scottish guard. He was succeeded in turn by three of his sons, whose ineffective reigns helped to spark the French wars of religion between Protestants and Catholics. <laughs> Early years Henry was born in the royal Château de Saint-Germain-en-Laye, near Paris, the son of King Francis I and Claude, Duchess of Brittany daughter of Louis XII of France and Anne, Duchess of Brittany, and a second cousin of her husband. His father was captured at the Battle of Pavia in 1525 by the forces of the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V, and held prisoner in Spain. To obtain his release, it was agreed that Henry and his older brother be sent to Spain in his place. They remained in captivity for over four years. Henry married Catherine de' Medici, a member of the ruling family of Florence, on 28 October 1533, when they were both 14 years old. At this time, his elder brother was alive and there was little prospect of Henry coming to the throne. The following year, he became romantically involved with a 35-year-old widow, Diane de Poitiers. Henry and Diane had always been very close, the young lady had fondly embraced Henry on the day he, as a seven-year-old child, set off to captivity in Spain, and the bond had been renewed after his return to France. In a tournament to honor his father's new bride, Eleanor, Henry and his older brother were dressed as chevaliers, in which Henry wore Diane's colors, extremely confident, mature and intelligent, Diane left Catherine powerless to intervene. She did, however, insist that Henry sleep with Catherine in order to produce heirs to the throne. When his elder brother Francis, the Dauphin and Duke of Brittany, died in 1536 after a game of tennis, Henry became heir apparent to the throne. He succeeded his father on his 28th birthday and was crowned King of France on 25 July 1547 at Reims Cathedral. Reign Attitude towards Protestants Henry's reign was marked by wars with Austria and the persecution of Protestants, mainly Calvinists known as Huguenots. Henry II severely punished them, particularly the ministers, for example by burning at the stake or cutting off their tongues for uttering heresies. Henry II was made a Knight of the Garter, April 1515. The Edict of Chateaubriant, the 27th of June 1551, called upon the civil and ecclesiastical courts to detect and punish all heretics and placed severe restrictions on Huguenots, including the loss of one third of their property to informers and confiscations. The edict also strictly regulated publications by prohibiting the sale, importation, or printing of any unapproved book. It was during the reign of Henry II that Huguenot attempts at establishing a colony in Brazil were made, with the short-lived formation of France Antarctique. Italian War of 1551–1559 
The Eighth Italian War of 1551–1559, sometimes known as the Habsburg-Valois War, began when Henry declared war against Holy Roman Emperor Charles V with the intent of recapturing Italy and ensuring French, rather than Habsburg, domination of European affairs. Persecution of Protestants at home did not prevent Henry II from becoming allied with German Protestant princes at the Treaty of Chambord in 1552. Simultaneously, the continuation of his father's Franco-Ottoman alliance allowed Henry II to push for French conquests towards the Rhine while a Franco-Ottoman fleet defended southern France. An early offensive into Lorraine was successful. Henry captured the three episcopal cities of Metz, Toul, and Verdun, and secured them by defeating the Habsburg army at the Battle of Renty in 1554. However the attempted French invasion of Tuscany in 1553 was defeated at the Battle of Marciano. After the abdication of Charles V in 1556, the Habsburg Empire was split between Philip II of Spain and Holy Roman Emperor Ferdinand I. The focus of Henry's conflict with the Habsburgs shifted to Flanders, where Philip, in conjunction with Emmanuel Philibert of Savoy, defeated the French at the Battle of St. Quentin England's entry into the war later that year led to the French capture of Calais, and French armies plundered Spanish possessions in the Low Countries. Henry was nonetheless forced to accept the Peace of Cateau Cambrésis, in which he renounced any further claims to territories in Italy. The Peace of Cateau Cambrésis was signed between Henry and Elizabeth I of England on 2 April and between Henry and Philip II of Spain on 3 April 1559 at Le Cateau Cambrésis. Under its terms, France restored Piedmont and Savoy to the Duke of Savoy, but retained Saluzzo, Calais, and the bishoprics of Metz, Toul, and Verdun. Spain retained Francia Comte. Emmanuel Philibert, Duke of Savoy, married Margaret of France, Duchess of Berry, the sister of Henry II, and Philip II of Spain married Henry's daughter Elizabeth of Valois. Henry raised the young Mary, Queen of Scots, at his court, hoping to use her ultimately to establish a dynastic claim to Scotland. On 24 April 1558, Henry's 14-year-old son Francis was married to Mary in a union intended to give the future King of France not only the throne of Scotland, but also a claim to the throne of England. Henry had Mary sign secret documents, illegal in Scottish law, that would ensure Valois rule in Scotland even if she died without an heir. Mary's claim to the English throne quickly became an issue when Mary I of England died later in 1558. Topic patent innovation Henry II introduced the concept of publishing the description of an invention in the form of a patent. The idea was to require an inventor to disclose his invention in exchange for monopoly rights to the patent. The description is called a patent specification. The first patent specification was submitted by the inventor Abel Fowlin for US Agent Description Delometer, a type of rangefinder. Publication was delayed until after the patent expired in 1561. Death Henry II was an avid hunter and a participant in jousts and tournaments. On 30 June 1559, a tournament was held at the Place des Vosges to celebrate the Peace of Cateau Cambrésis with his longtime enemies, the Habsburgs of Austria, and to celebrate the marriage of his daughter Elizabeth of Valois to King Philip II of Spain. During a jousting match, King Henry, wearing the colours of his mistress Diane de Poitiers, was wounded in the eye by a fragment of the splintered lance of Gabriel Montgomery, captain of the King's Scottish Guard. Despite the efforts of royal surgeon Amboise Paré, the king died of septicemia on 10 July 1559. He was buried in a cadaver tomb in St. Denis Basilica. As Henry lay dying, Queen Catherine limited access to his bedside and denied his mistress Diane de Poitiers permission to see him, even though he repeatedly asked for her. Following his death, Catherine sent Diane into exile, where she lived in comfort on her own properties until her death. It was the practice to enclose the heart of the king in an urn. The monument to the heart of Henry II is in the collection of the Louvre, but was originally in the chapel of Orleans beneath a pyramid. The original bronze urn holding the king's heart was destroyed during the French Revolution and a replica was made in the 19th century. The marble sculpture of the three graces holding the urn, executed from a single piece of marble by Germain Pilon, the sculptor to Catherine de' Medici, survives. Henry was succeeded by his sickly 15-year-old son, Francis II. 
Francis was married to 16-year-old Mary, Queen of Scots, who had been his childhood friend and fiancé since her arrival at the French court when she was five. Francis II died 18 months later in 1560, and Mary returned to Scotland the following summer. Francis II was succeeded by his 10-year-old brother Charles IX. His mother, Catherine de Medici, acted as regent. Ancestors and descendants Catherine de' Medici bore ten of Henry's children, see Children of Henry II of France and Catherine de' Medici Francis II, King of France, born 19 January 1544, married Mary Stuart Queen of Scots Elizabeth of France, born 2 April 1545, married Philip II, King of Spain Claude of France, born 12 November 1547, married Charles III, Duke of Lorraine Louis, Duke of Orléans, born 3 February 1549, died 24 October 1550. Charles IX, King of France, born 27 June 1550. Henry III, King of France, born 19 September 1551, also briefly King of Poland. Margaret of France, born the 14th of May 1553, married Henry IV, King of France. Hercules, Duke of Anjou, born the 18th of March 1555, later known as Francis, Duke of Alencon and Anjou. Victoria of France, born the 24th of June 1556, died the 17th of August 1556. Joan of France, stillborn the 24th of June 1556. Henry II also had three illegitimate children. By Philippa Ducci, Diane, Duchess d'Angoulême, 1538 to 1619. At the age of 14, the younger Diane married Orazio Farnese, Duke of Castro, who died in battle in 1553. Her second marriage was to François, Duke of Montmorency, by Lady Janet Stuart 1508-1563, the illegitimate daughter of James IV of Scotland, Henri d'Angoulême He was legitimized and became governor of Provence, by Nicole de Savigny, Henri de Saint-Rémy He was given the title of Count of Saint-Rémy. One of his last descendants was Jean de Valois Saint Remy, Countess de la Motte, famous for her role in the affair of the diamond necklace at the court of Louis XVI. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Prophecy. Nostradamus (1503–1566), a French apothecary and astrological writer known for his prophecies, is said by most commentators to have become famous when one of his quatrains was construed as a prediction of the death of King Henry II. C. Q. 35. The young lion shall overcome the older one on the field of combat in single battle. He shall pierce his eyes in a golden cage. Two forces one. Then he shall die a cruel death. But, in fact, the link was first proposed in print only in 1614, 55 years after the event and 48 after Nostradamus' death, thus it qualifies as a postdiction, or vaticinium ex eventu. The Italian astrologer Luca Gorico, a contemporary of Nostradamus, also later claimed to have foretold Henry II's death, though in fact he had predicted, a most happy and green old age, for the king. Portrayals Henri or Henry has had three notable portrayals on the screen. He was played by a young Roger Moore in the 1956 film Diane, opposite Lana Turner in the title role and Marissa Pavan as Catherine de' Medici. In the 1998 film Ever After, the Prince Charming figure who is portrayed by Dogray Scott, shares his name with the historical monarch. In the 2013 CW series Rain he is played by Alan Van Sprang. Gallery Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>